KMC family and all who are watching virtually this Bible study on the book of uh, Jonah, the prophetical book of Jonah. And since from last uh, many weeks, we are continually studying on this book and uh, in many ways, we have found so many solutions for our problems and even by the life of Jonah, we got to know even how is our life in the midst of troubles and in the midst of uh, merciful God. Yes, dear friends, today also we will be continuingly studying the last chapter, that's the fourth chapter. And uh, last uh, week we studied on the characteristic of Jonah, where we pondered on Jonah as a resentful man, Jonah as a courageous man, Jonah as a a sacrophonic man and Jonah as a servant of God. Yes, uh, now also, today, we will be seeing the object lesson, the object lesson that God taught Jonah about his attitude and about his reaction towards the response of God. And before we meditate on the word of God, let's look to Lord in prayer. Let's pray. Gracious and merciful Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this evening that once again you have added in our lives, oh Father. Lord, as we are studying your words, oh Father, you continue to give your wisdom, your grace and mercy, oh Father, so that, Lord, we can understand each and every part of the thing that we are going to study today. And Lord, as we are meditating on this book of Father, let your Holy Spirit guide and lead us. In the most precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Dear friends, let me read the verses from Jonah chapter 4, verses from 6 to 8. We will be concentrating on these three verses where it says, Now the Lord God appointed a plant and made it come up over Jonah, that it might be a shade over his head to save him from his discomfort. So Jonah was exceedingly glad because of the plant. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. When the 
sun rose god appointed a scorching east wind and the sun beat down on the head of jonah so that he was faint and he asked that he might die and say it is better for me to die than to live here is the reading and uh, we will be pondering on this reading dear friends here today today especially today we will be studying from the concept of uh, world renowned theologian ch spurgeon ch spurgeon has given a broad meaning he has brought a broader meaning broader understanding on this object lesson and uh, from his concepts and from his uh, uh, study we will be doing this one here he brought how god was very apparent in life of his servant jonah and brought out this truth very prominently that those who were listening to it and those who are studying to it may also see god in their lives in similar point to those in which he manifested himself he shown himself means god shown himself to jonah so he pondered on the following uh, following uh, following points here it says firstly he says god is in our comforts god is in our comforts god prepared a plan the first thing that in object lesson there are three, three things that god appointed and first one was a god prepared or appointed a plan and god that's why he quotes as a first point god is in our comfort and secondly we see god is in our improvement and loses god appointed a war and thirdly we see god is in our heaviest trials in our trials and temptations uh, and in our problems issues there we see god appointed a scorching east wind and fourthly he points out fourthly which is not in the bible but it is very essential it is where the essence of these three points comes into this one god prepared jonah god prepared jonah and by these three things the plant the worm and the scorching east wind were a part of his preparation the prepare, preparing jonah to be in a fitter and a better man to be an able servant of god yes dear people of god in the same way even today we can assume we can imagine ourselves in the midst of these things or we can put ourselves in the life of jonah and we can understand how god is making us to be an efficient and a fitter and a better person in our life so let us understand these three points and firstly according to uh, this sixth verse where it says now the lord god appointed a plan now god prepared a plan god prepared a plan plan and first point is god is in our comforts let us call uh, this as a jonas comfort this is a jonas comfort that's why this plan in some uh, different versions it says grow where god prepared some versions it says god prepared and some versions it says god appointed but in in either of things the meaning is same god appointing or god preparing something and sending it to his servant of god his servants that's why we see god preparing or god appointing a plan when jonah was in need of comfort it was sent the plan or grow was sent when jonah was in very wrong spirit angry with god and angry with his fellow men maybe the ninevites 
and maybe with the, some other one he was very angry he had hidden away from everybody in that bit of a of his of his uh, feelings which he had put out put up for himself outside the city that's why he said i will not stay in this city even though said is this the way that you have to react god said is this right for you to be angry but he did not listen he want what god said it has to be happened and that's why neglecting everyone neglecting god's word neglecting the people there he went onto the mountain onto the hill and sat and sat, and sat there and made himself a booth and 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 sat there to see what will be going to happen to this city he was so confident that something will happen to that city but because of that attitude god has planned some lessons to be taught to jonah and that's why in his circumstance in his pain he made or he appointed or he prepared a plan a god and what happened see uh, uh, this ch spurgeon says it's like a uh, god's hand upon jonah like jesus hand like god's hand someone is putting the hand because that was the time when jonah was discomforted because of the heat he was sitting in the hot sun under the hot sun he made himself some booth so that he can uh, have some shade there but it was not enough and all of the sudden there was a plant which grows rapidly and it grown and become shade to him that's why here ch spurgeon says god is in our comforts god is in our comforts here it says here he says the ch spurgeon says sick of everybody and sick even of himself he gets away into this little booth and there in discontent and discomfort he sits watching to see the fate of the city laying below the hill at god comforted him by preparing crow to be a shadow over his head to deliver him from his grief you know that we are very up to say of some people well really they are such a, a trying disposition they fret about nothing at all but they worry themselves when they have no cause for it we have no patience with them that is what you say but that is not how god acts he does have a pity upon such people and he has had patience with many of you when you have been of the number of such people ch spurgeon clarifies here in our midst see when we are in the time of trouble when we feel discomforted and when during that time god is in our comforts god is giving his shade upon us and we feel glad about it we feel as it this is because of my doings now we feel because jonah at the time was glad why he was sitting and watching what this city will happen how god will destroy them he was in that discomfort in that in that angry that now i am angry and now i will see what god will do now to this city and in that means there has come the comfort he become exceedingly happy or glad why he may have thought that time that god is with him 
Or he may have thought that God is listening to him. God is going to do what he said and he is helping me to be comforted. He is helping me to be in that shade. I hope at that time when he became so much of glad, he became so glad, extremely glad, exceedingly glad means he had become very much proud in his spirit. He might have become proud in his spirit that what I wanted that is going to happen. And that's why God is helping me. And that's why God is with me. If God was not with me, he would have not brought this shade upon me. He was happy because he thought God is, uh, al is uh, walking along with that uh, Jonah. He might have thought he is walking with me, with me and he is with me now. That's why he is helping me. Proud in our spirit. Proud in our doings. God is in our comfort. And that to teach us. Not to become ourselves proud in our spirits. Not to feel that this comfort has come because of my good doings. This comfort has become because I obeyed God. What he said, I obeyed him and I have delivered the message and that's why today God is helping me. No dear people, God's plan and act is different. God's plan is different. He wanted to teach Jonah what he is doing. He brought the comfort. He put the comfort so that after that, he can know what's going to happen. And because he was exceedingly happy, he thought God is con completely he is in the control of Jonah. He is in my control. This might be his thinking at the time. Dear people of God, God is giving us some comfort here. God is giving us some comfort so that so that we can understand so that we can understand what God is going to do. Just because we are comforted we cannot be exceedingly glad. Suppose we are in the midst of some problems and suddenly we see there is a comforting level and if you, if you feel that God is comforted me because of my good doings, because I obeyed, cannot be true all the time. Think, pray and discern what would be God's plan. Is this comfort is actually of actually because of my good doings or it is because God is teaching us. Just not because whatever we are thinking that is going to happen or what is that happening in our life that is not because we have prayed. That is not like that. Maybe God is going to teach you. Maybe God is going to give some lesson. That's why dear people of God. Let's not be proud in our spirit. Unless we know what is God's spirit. Unless we know what is the God's purpose. That's why in the Holy Bible, we always see, let us be humble. And even Jesus Christ was humble 
till his death on the cross. And secondly, we see God is in our bereavements and losses. We lose so many things. There are so many issues, so many problems arises. C.H. Spurgeon, Spurgeon says here like this, Jonah greet comfort with destroyed by a very little thing. Here we see Jonah's great comfort because he was he became very much or exceedingly glad. Jonah's great comfort was destroyed by a very little thing. See, even Spurgeon says here, and we can also understand by reading the word where it says in the seventh word, in that word we see, seventh verse it says, but when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the plant. Worm. Very little, small. The plant grown up so fast that it shade, it gave the shade shadow to Jonah so that he was exceedingly happy. Must it means he must have felt that that coolness, that cold in that shelter. That must have become so good shelter that even the sun, the wind could not harm him. That was that was such a joy for him because in the midst of desert like area where is there, where there is no air where there are no trees and all of the sudden one plant came that to with the big leaves and with a cool breeze there he must be become he must have become very much glad but because of small little one even Jonah, we did not, uh, here, Jonah did not notice that war. He did not notice why this plant crowd has destroyed, has withered. He did not know it. What was the reason he did not know? But we know here, in this Bible we know. Because God has appointed a war and it attacked or it have, might have bite it. The plant, the root of that plant, and because of that, the plant complete the big plant which made a shed for Jonah was withered. Very with a very little thing. Further, it says it was only a worm, but that was enough to destroy the plant. Oh, how soon may our earthly comforts be taken away? from us. There is a little fluctuation in the markets in the in our uh, in our country, in our prosperity, in our business and we become bankrupt. Because of very little thing, unnoticeable thing. Nowadays we experience that. Because of very, very, very minute coronavirus, which cannot be seen by our naked eyes, the lives, the lifestyle, the economy, everything has gone down. We don't know whether God brought this one also to teach us a lesson. Really, we don't know. We were so much of comforted before coronavirus. We were all so much of happy. Every country was thinking we are developed country. But because of a very little and a very minute virus, 
that destroyed the world economy how is the act of god we cannot assume here jonah cannot assume jonah cannot understand why this crowd or why this plant with her he could not see that one there even today if we place ourselves in the place of we cannot understand from where the problem arises the problem may be very small very minute but we cannot understand it our plan our purpose our will is different god's will god's purpose god's plan is different and god's plan is perfect here also it was a perfect in the life of jonah he was perfect he appointed a plan so that he can feel comforted in the time of distress he can become comforted not because of his own doings but that was the grace of god and he become exceedingly glad because he might have thought this is what i wanted this is what i want got to be done got to do it being pride in our spirit very little worm can destroy that plant and little virus can destroy our lifestyle our country this world economy very little virus can destroy the whole body within no time let us understand this one. let us think about this one god always want his people in the word of god we see he teaches the lesson to those to whom he loves he loved jonah because he was the prophet of god he is a servant of god he appointed him he loved him that's why he taught him a lesson even today for me and you he might be teaching us a lesson let us not be proud in our spirit but listen be careful understand why these problems why there is comfort and why there is discomfort let us understand let us know what is the reason and thirdly we see god is in our heaviest trials temptations god appointed scorching scorching east wind the wind which comes during the noon time the heavy the sun which is very close to earth and during that time that wind that winds heat is very much scorching and that would be very much disappointed first of all jonna got comforted with the leaves with the plant but that plant was withered because of some reason and now there are other problems arriving there are other problems coming many times in our uh, in uh, media and all news we used to see if you go in a broader way this corona virus is nothing there is something else is coming which is very dangerous 
there is some stone falling from above it's coming towards the earth it may fell on us and we may die or destroy any time if we come into our personal life we may have certain comforting things in our life suddenly we may become happy when we are in discomfort and suddenly that happiness may go out we may not know what is the reason above that one there may be a trials and temptations coming again and again problems coming again and again my dear people of god if this is our case if there is such thing coming against us let us assume let us think of jonah let us think the object lesson that god taught to jonah even in our lives it may be happening to us that's why here ch spurgeon says jonah could not escape the fury of the wind especially when his plant was withered this wind came from the east which according to our old proverbs is neither good for man nor beast but it came from the east most vehemently and at the same time after protecting plant was gone the first sea rays of the sun beat upon jonas head where he seems to have been weakest thou he probably thought himself to be a strongest just there so dear friends god may send us troubles in back of one another again and again we may experience various problems the troubles seldom come alone they usually fly in flocks like martins and it will often happens that one will come upon the back of another and you will say to yourself why does this trial come just now when i am least able to bear it dear people of god sometimes also troubles come very fastly rapidly it was a vehement scorching east wind it came like the rush of a scorching heat out of open doors of an oven we are sitting near the oven or something and suddenly we have put in some uh, fire there and suddenly that fire smoke has come to our face how we will feel that time that kind of thing is experienced by jonah we cannot assume what feeling he might have got but even today in our lives also lord lord may have brought so many things so many testing things he might have brought these trials in our lives be patient not like jonah what he said you see here in 8th verse last he says it says it is better for me to die than to live it is better for me to die than to live but god said to jonna do you do well to be angry for the plant and he said yes i do well to be angry angry enough to die he was very much angry because of that plant because god gave him comfort and he took comfort that was given by god he did not get that one jonna need to understand here we need to understand here we are not toiling for that one we are not working for that one what we have worked we might have got and we might have fight for that one 
but here that's a grace that's a mercy of god and because god has shown mercy that's why we people become angry on god is it right for us to become angry on god we need to think all these things and fourthly as ch spurgeon says in all this god was preparing his servant in all this god was preparing his servant we may not know what was happened what happened to jono after this but this object lesson has taught many lesson to jona and we mean we don't know what happened later on but today we can know ourselves what will happen to us that's why sage spurgeon says here do you not see that god was teaching jona by the eye and by experience seeing and experiencing god is showing jonna can see it see the comforting things and also experience this scorching heat unless the lord had put jonna through this process he could not so well have argued with his servant so the plant must grow and the wind must come the sun must beat upon the fainting prophet and jonna in his angry temper must get to feel great grief over his poor plant which had met with such an untimely death and then god comes to him and says are you it says in 10th was you pity the plant for which you did not labor nor did nor uh, did you make it grow which came into being in a night and perished in a night and that's why here it says should i not spare thee when thou wouldest have spared this tender plant which sprung up in a night and withered in the night the people sometimes god puts us through an unusual experience in order that we may be better understand better understand him and sometimes that we may be the better to know him and know ourselves there are hard nature that must have hard usage there are something very hard and that they get hard beating also take an example of diamond diamond is the hardest material hardest thing but when it get shaped because of hard usage then only the diamond will show its real face the gold is tested in the fire today you and me are tested in this kind of situation god may teach us in many ways god may give us some comforting things we take out that comforting things god may give us a, a scorching east wind means many troubles and trials and temptations again and again on and on but he wants us to be molded we don't know what happened to jonna but we can be be sure that when god is molding us when he is teaching us something when he is showing us something when we are experiencing and when we are seeing by our naked eyes we can see the corona virus is there we can see there are trials and temptations many times many people gone with uh, slept without food during this time of pandemic 
that we saw with our naked eyes that we experienced not only that during this pandemic there was a flood landsliding so much of natural disasters we experienced that one many of our people experience water lodging in their house their food grains were wasted because of water lodged in their house we experienced that without food we have slept is this not all that god want us to know something is this not that god want us to teach something if we believe if you understand god has a better plan for us if you trust god he wants us to make the heaviest person the strongest person in this world he wants to mold and he wants to make his servants a good servant he wants to make his children a strong children even in the midst of evil even in the midst of problem we may stand still and firm and walk according to his will we can be firm and say that i am the children i am the son and i am the daughter of god as god taught an object lesson to jonah even today god might be teaching us many things let us listen be calm humble and give our ears to him let us pray let us understand his will so that he can give us a mighty wisdom and he will make you and me a strong pillars may god bless you all and the next week we will conclude the total chapter chapters the prophetic book of jonah and from next month we can go for another bible study another book may god bless you all and let us look to lord in prayer let us pray gracious and merciful heavenly father we thank you lord we thank you for giving us a wonderful lesson today as is lord as you taught jonah and today we know that you are teaching us today in this midst of pandemic in the midst of uh, natural disasters in the midst of so many problems economic problems and uh, so many other issues and problems in our family in our churches in our uh, in in surrounding in our areas of faith there are so many issues so many problems even though there are so many comforting things actually we do not know the reason the reason may be very very small but we could not understand it and we start blaming you lord we ask forgiveness for that one of us you forgive us lord if we are done wrong and we want to become a humble lord we want to humble ourselves and to submit ourselves unto your hands lord teach guide and protect us all those who are listening to this video lord and all those who are studying your word lord let's each and every one in the mighty name of our lord and savior jesus christ i pray amen let us receive the benediction now may the grace of our lord jesus christ love of the father and the sweet communion of the holy spirit rest and abide with each one of us now and forevermore amen thank you